I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Golden Sun the Lost Age. Felix still thinks you can't see him. But he is wrong. Anyway, I meant to do this at the start of the last episode. Uh, I actually mixed the Ginny around a little bit because why the heck not? Also, I had this one, uh, like, Mercury Ginny on standby for some reason, and I don't know why, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, Felix. He's got, like, all of the good healing spells now for some reason. It's pretty great. Uh, he's also got Cutting Edge, which is good, and everybody likes uh, Briar. It's pretty awesome. Uh, he's got Wish also, but he doesn't he doesn't have the ability to apply himself. But he can do Prism and High Impact, which is pretty good. Um, I gave the Tamagotchi to this girl. Uh, I'm still going to try that out, but I don't know, I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, and then Jenna, she also gets revived now, but she also can dive from a planet. It's pretty great. Um, so, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, I've noticed that I can go over here, and I'm wondering what might be, uh... Well, you know what? Let's go into the big imposing door first, because it's probably going to be a dead end of some kind. Hey, look, our first battle, a fireworm. Wonder-tastical. Um... Let's try this, uh, call a zombie again. Zombie! Get over here! Did that thing die already? Oh. Like, it literally calls a zombie. That's... that's hilarious. <laughs> um, okay. Jeez, th those are scary. Um, let's ignore those and move on. Moving on seems like a thing to do. It does, I assure you. Uh... Okay, well, I can move this up. Doing so will be useful to me in some capacity, I'm sure. Oh, I already see what I gotta do. I gotta get, uh... I gotta get this thing into the corner. Oh. Um... Hold on, then. This is a little bit slightly more complicated than I had anticipated, because I can't move it unless I'm standing here. So, you know, that's a little bit of a problem. Slightly, kind of, just a little bit. Kind of, just a little bit. I kind of wish this was like Dark Dawn, where you could move anything just in a circular radius instead of having to look at it. Because that's just way more convenient than having to look at it sometimes. You know, it, it just, it's a thing. Clay Gargoyle and a Golem. <laughs> awesome and great. Uh, I'm going to assume a lot of Earth-type enemies are around here, so they're probably going to be weak to the plasma. Probably. Once again, everything is weak to wind. I know. It's, it's wonderful. Let's just try out Fire Puppet, because why not? Sounds like a fun time to me. Oh, hey, Jenna, you have the spire now. You're not a squire. You'll never be a squire! <sighs> Actually, I don't think Jenna could ever be a squire, so that's a thing. Just dive from a planet somewhere. It's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun! Okay, well, the golem is weak to electricity, but... Whoa, hello. <laughs> that was scary, slightly. Uh, I mean, that is the point, but details. Um, all right. Still don't know what that guy's weak to. Probably weak to Earth, actually. Because I, I don't think... Earth is like... Well, no, I didn't use water either, did I? I didn't. I did not. Okay, well, that's basically all the skills I care about. Curse is like... You, you use it, and then an enemy's gonna die in seven turns. And that assumes it even works to begin with. So... That's kind of a thing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Plasma... You're not weak to plasma. Are you weak to calling as zombies? No. What are you weak to? Like, I thought I used all elements on... Well, no, I didn't use Earth. Venus, if you will. Uh-oh. Oh, am I gonna need growth? Well, thankfully, Jenna has it. Oh, I see the gimmick here. It's gonna be like a, a lost maze kind of thing. That's not even a doorway. But you gotta use growth to, to make a little arrow appear. Got it. I completely understand. I didn't even click the chest yet. It's probably a mimic, but like, you don't even let me get a chance to see it. Come on now. 
silly. See, look, it was a mimic. I got an encounter, like, literally a frame before I pressed the A button. Also, by the way, I don't know if you noticed in all of these battles that I'm... Well, I don't think I've cut any out yet, but, um... I got, I'm using the controller that I got from Smash 4's uh, thingy-mabobber thing, so... That's a thing. You should hear less obnoxious clicking in the background, hopefully, but, uh... You know, that's always good. It's always good. And let's just high impact. Just say hello to everybody. Piers is really good at that. Uh, Fiery Abyss is not a physical sort of thing, but it's fire-based, so, I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good! I think it's pretty good. Cutting Edge isn't gonna do, like, a lot, but it should do enough. I might as well just regular attack. In fact, let's just, let's just do regular attacks, except for the guys that can do the physical synergies. Yeah. No, because Cutting Edge is water, well, mercury. Isn't it weird that it's like, oh man, instead of water, it's Mercury, instead of Earth, it's Venus, even though ultimately it's like the same thing, but I, I don't know. Because I always find that confusing, I guess, but I mean, you know what I'm talking about when I say it's like Earth element? Because I mean, if I said it was Venus element, would you even necessarily know what I'm talking about? I mean, I, I don't know. Well, I mean from the standpoint of somebody who's never played these games. You know, it's, it's one of those things. It's just, it's just one of those things, if you know what I'm talking about. So this is just, um... It's going on a little bit longer than I feel like it should, because I, I, I kind of... I get the idea, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's just, it's just a thing. Oh, no, it's a Dreadhound. Not Fire Breath. Why would you do that? Uh, I'm going to base entirely that on just... Words. I I'm gonna assume you're weak to the water type attacks based on your fire breath, and I'm assuming correctly. I was assuming correctly. I was assuming. I what does that even mean? I don't even know. But I found a rusty mace. Jenna is gonna be so happy to have that rusty mace. I should have probably sold a bunch of stuff in uh, Townville Place. Probably, because, uh, in all honesty, I'm, like, running out of the room here. I feel like... Th I, I know this is going somewhere, but I feel like it's not, <laughs> just because we're going on and on. Um, these guys died super quick when I fought one earlier. Yeah, like, I freaking one-shot it. What the heck is all that about? Why do you have, like, no health? Well, actually, Jenna's class gives her, like, a freaking huge damage boost. She's actually the strongest one in the party right now. I don't know if you, uh, noticed that one. Well, strongest in terms of, like, physical attacks, anyway. Uh, this is... This is the Lost Woods Forever Edition. <laughs> Part of me almost feels like I'm doing something wrong, but I keep occasionally finding a new treasure chest every so often, so... Is it, oh, yeah, okay, good. We finally made... Oh. There's a guy here. What's going on here? Um... Hello? Who are you? How did you get here? Uh, I walked around a whole lot, actually. Only assuming Kushinata and I possess the ability to come here. Clearly. Never mind. I don't have time to talk. I have my hands full of getting the serpent to drink this. Hmm, once it's groggy, that's when I'll strike. If you understand, then get out of my way. Stand over there. Uh, this sounds like a plan that is totally gonna work. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna reveal things to find out that uh, you're just pulling barrels from nowhere. So, this is actually sort of an interesting thing, as I recall, because I, I think I can... I think I can actually, like, fight this thing right now. And I'm actually not sure if you can win the fight right now or not. But... You don't really want to do that right now. I guess. Although, I, I don't see what else I can do here. Well, <laughs> Let's go ahead! Hey there, buddy. Oh, okay. Um... Let me save first, just in case, because uh, I I don't I don't want to be brutally murdered for no reason. Yeah, you can just engage the thing right now. <laughs> All 
Alright, so this guy is basically the boss of the area. I really don't want to fight him right now, so I'm probably going to stop eventually. But basically, what's going to happen here is stuff. Well, I mean, you'll, you'll get. Let, let's get to his turn first. Hey, look, Quake Spire. All right. Er, well, Quake Sphere. Gosh. And there's Heat Mirage. Awesome. Toxic Breath. Yes, he attacks twice in a turn. That's not all. He attacks three times in a turn. And like, he fully restores his HP at the end. So yeah, you can't. You can't even beat him. So there's like basically no point in, in do it. This is, what, this is what I'm trying to explain here. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you'd see the uh, the Game Boy screen here. Didn't think you would ever see that, would you? Would you? You would not have. Um, Alright, yes, continue, continue, continue. Okay. So, just in case you wanted to know, that's what happens when you do that. So, the problem then is... Um, where do I go? I'm back here now. Okay, well, I guess I should have just climbed up the ladder first, because there's, like, no point in going this way. I have to do this again? Really? I mean, it should be easier this time around, because I'm coming from the other side, but still. <laughs> it just seems a little silly to make me do this twice. Does that not seem silly to me? Or to you, rather? Like, I figured they would have locked those in place or something. But, I guess not. Hey there, fireworm! How you doing? You dead! Sure sucks to be you. Hiccups. They are wonderful. And I love them. So much! <laughs> anyway, let's actually climb up this now that I've pretty much wasted a huge amount of time for no real reason. Because I'm going to have to go all the way back through there again later, probably. Um, that looks like a shortcut. Actually, that looks... I'm so confused right now. Zombie! Why? Why are you... Why? Why? That was the uh, unleash for the, the thingy that I bought last time I was in a shop. <laughs> in case you forgot. I feel like I'm missing something here. Um, well. I can go this way. <laughs> Although I fail to see what this does for me. Oh no, I see what it does for me. I I, I completely understand. Okay. See, I got confused because I thought this was like a shortcut, but it's not actually a shortcut. It's like a, a progression sort of thing. Because now I can't even climb up that one. I have to go all the way around because that's cool. Great. Awesome. Okay, well, at least it turns out I can actually progress somewhere. I was a little bit worried that I had to go all the way back to the thing because I missed something. Yeah, over to that serpent guy. It just seems a little strange that they made me go all the way through that just to get to the serpent guy and find out that I can't do anything there anyway. It's a little silly. But, okay. Especially since it's like literally a death trap of sorts. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, you're, you're the white guy. Uh, you're pretty cool. Uh, you're not that white, though. You're mostly purple, actually. Uh, Mr. Watch agrees. White is not purple. <laughs> They're two completely different colors. I don't know if you've noticed. There's a vine over here. Hey there, vine. Can I climb on you? I can! Why would I want to do this, though? Well, other than the fact that I have to. Um, well, there's a treasure chest involved on some level, but I don't entirely know how to reach it. I guess I climb down that vine. I guess there's just vines here, but, you know, they just kind of exist, I suppose. I suppose. I don't know, maybe I make some of them grow at some point. That's probably a thing that'll happen. Let's just be completely honest here. We're just, we gotta be completely honest with ourselves sometimes. We gotta, we gotta be like, you know, hey, man, if I'm being completely honest, 
Sometimes vines just grow from places and they reach the ground, but sometimes they don't. I just went a big circle, I just now noticed. <laughs> Man, this place is just confusing me with its big old circles and deadly mazes that lead to dragons I can't kill. It's amazing! It's amazing. It's a little weird, actually, that you go, you go into that fight, but you don't have the option to run away. Or if you do, I didn't even notice. So, like, I don't know. It's, it's a little weird. Yeah, like, if I go over there, I just fall down and I climb up this thing. I don't understand why they make me fall down. That just seems kind of silly. Um, oh. We're mixing it up by adding the psych clone guys to Gaia Rock. Because that's a thing. I almost thought for a second I would, like, jump to the vine and swing off of it. But no, apparently not. We're not doing any death-defying tricks today. Darn it, Felix. You're always ruining my expectations. Also, this is a dead end. Why are there dead ends everywhere? Mr. Mr. White. Why... Why is your name White? It's not even spelled like the color. You're just so weird. <laughs> like, come on, man. Okay, so this is a dead end. Maybe I do swing from the vine? Oh, you know what it is. You know what it is. I need to use, like, Whirlwind or something, right? Is that what I gotta do? Is that what I got? Because the, the, the statue up there was demonstrating things for me, or do I use Cyclone? Because I don't have Whirlwind right now. Uh, you gonna make me fiddle with my Ginny to get Whirlwind, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? You're just you just wonder tastic. Um, thank you so much. But you know what? I'm not really gonna use this a whole lot. Uh, this is what uh, what's her face looks like without the thing. She has Cyclone now. Um, she also gets Ward and Resist. That's uh, pretty good, I guess. See, it's, it's always a good thing. So let's. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's Cyclone. I thought it was Whirlwind. Dang it! That's, I don't understand why they're two different things. I, I like, really just don't. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay. Whirlwind. Yet again, I get to play the freaking Switch Ginny around game. It's all the fun you could ever ask for. All rolled into one package. Like, I kind of hate that, because it's like, really? Why can't I just use the Ginny combinations that I want to use? Why you always gotta be like, man, making me have to re-switch everything around. Actually, speaking of that, I should probably uh, switch everything back here. No, I want to... How do I make everything... There was a way I could make everything set. Oh, it's select? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I saw the prompt, I just thought it was A, not select, but whatever. <laughs> that's just weird. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, that aside, hopefully I won't need Whirlwind again anytime soon, I, even though I know I will. They're not gonna use the gimmick only once, I'm sure. I am just 100% sure. Yeah, of course. Alright, well... I may want to switch my gin around again because this game is just being this game and not giving me access to, like... I don't know, that's the other thing. Like, why can't I just have it be a latent ability? That's just kind of annoying, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you know what I'm saying. Uh, there's nothing up here, so I don't know why you would ever go up there, but okay. Alright, well... Let me switch around my Ginny. Switching around the, the Ginny. There's like a delay, and I can't push up, and it's annoying. Uh, this will lead me to happiness. And yeah, I can't go that way. Here's the problem, though. What's-her-face is gonna be stupid weak in this fight unless I kill everything. But it's alright. Jenna one-shots this guy. And then uh, the other people will probably kill... Oh, no! 
I, I guess uh, the yellow-haired one is gonna be all right. I guess she will be okay. I mean, 90 damage isn't the best, but it's not the worst either. I don't know why, I just always think that the vine swing is gonna happen automatically, but then it doesn't, and I'm just all confused. <laughs> um, more wind? No. Okay, they're just random little statues hanging out there. That's, that's wonderful. I like statues, they're, they're great. They exist. They, um, they are there to, there's nothing over there, is there? No, there is, I just... The camera didn't pan up enough for me to be able to tell that there was something there. This is big old climby rock wall. Of course that's a dead end. I mean, why not, you know? Always got to pick the wrong direction first. Always got to pick that. It's just it's a trend that comes along once a millennia. It just happens to come along more frequently than it should. <laughs> There's a big old vine over on the right side that we never did anything with, so instead we're gonna go to the top of Gaia Rock and fight a gnome! Hey there, gnome! You killed my game! Why would you do that? Well, it's been a while since that's happened. I don't recall exactly where I was when the game quit on me, but, uh... I'm here now, so... <laughs> uh, for the time being, um... I can't actually check while I'm on a vine for some reason. Uh, I switched my Ginny around so that she just has all the Jupiter guys. I think Pierce just has his usual wish and... Well, no, it's a little bit different, but, you know, whatever. It's whatever. Because I, I want Whirlwind, man. I don't know why this game just wants me to have Whirlwind at literally all times. But apparently, <laughs> that's just something it wants. Uh, oh, no, wait, no, I was, like, all the way at the top of this thing. I don't know why I stopped, started talking already. Ah! What? Okay, I didn't even know those were there. Apparently, there were wrong ways to fall for, and I had no idea. Uh, good to know, I guess. <laughs> I like how I just magically didn't run into any of those on my first trip up. <laughs> like... Because I, I, I didn't know they were even there. I bet there's a bunch of those. There's like a freaking minefield of those hanging around everywhere on the wall there. And I just somehow evaded all of them on the first trip. But okay, in case you wanted to know, those are there. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, that's right, I was like all the way up here. And then I got attacked by a game-killing gnome. Right. I remember everything that happens now. Um, okay, so obviously the game probably wants me to move that before I progress, but I want to know what's over there now. You know, th sometimes they put treasure chests and junk up here. You never, yeah, see, see, see. If I'd skipped that, I wouldn't have gotten this apple. See, see, I got, I got the apple. The apple was, it was very important to me. I don't know who has the apple. Jenna has the apple. Apple, come to me. Be my friend. Uh, I think I'm still just gonna give it to Felix, though. Uh, cause, you know, I always want to pump up those stats. That I gotta be as good as they can get, otherwise a Void's effect will wear off, and we don't want that. We just do not want that. I'd like to get into the dungeon proper, cause I'm pretty sure that's gotta happen sooner or later, but, uh, haven't gotten there yet. This game really likes making you go in a roundabout sort of way. So like, oh, instead of climbing down one ledge to get to the rock, you've got to climb down several, and then climb back up another one to get to the rock. This is something that you must do, and if you do not do it, you will you'll just waste a whole bunch of time. And that's no fun. Nobody wants to waste a whole bunch of time. I'm pretty sure the other path is a dead end. It kind of looks like it, so it's a good thing I didn't go that way. Indeed, a good thing that was had. Oh, hello. There is something afoot here. And it's not a foot. It's a hand. What's going on here, huh? Uh, ah! There's a scary guy. Felix, check the altar. I got the dancing idol. Uh, okay. Uh, I assume now I actually just go back down... I've, I've been in the dungeon proper already. Uh, okay. I assume I can retreat from here. 
if I can find it. There's retreat. There's retreat! And I saw a pedestal in this place at the beginning, so I'm assuming that's where the dancing idol goes. I assume this is the thing that we must do. Have a void's effect wore off. Looks like something could be placed here. But what could it be? Will we ever find out what could be placed here? It's a mystery, and nobody knows the answer. Maybe you guys do. Comments, help me out. I, I don't know what to put here. We'll find out together next time. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you later, and goodbye.